Can someone explain to me how we're already at the point where there's dog hair inside of the fridge? channel my name is Allison if you are new here and today we are organizing this refrigerator and not just organizing it needs a thorough thorough deep clean it was relatively clean when we first moved in a little over a month ago but now it's it's gross I haven't done much to it it's just kind of a disaster inside of there and there is no rhyme or reason to anything and I'm 99% sure there's definitely rotten vegetables rotten meat well not rotten but like meat that's no longer like good to have in there also leftovers that I've probably forgotten about and I think it's just trash in there too like the little containers for guacamole I'm pretty sure there's an empty guacamole container inside of there. So we need to go in there, take everything out, wipe the whole refrigerator down, and then I have a couple of organization bins. So I'm not going too crazy with the bins in this fridge because the drawers are actually, or the shelves are pretty narrow. You can see sneak peek of what we're working with. So I don't think like this guy is like basically the like width of the entire shelf. So I don't think it's like very, very helpful to have these in there, but except I might use this for one shelf if I wanna be able to pull things out and reach the back of it easily. So I'm gonna work with these three bins. Obviously this is for eggs and I need to clean these out really fast. I'll have them linked down below. I bought it in a set of four. There was one more that came with it, but it's currently in the pantry. I have a bunch of like bars and oatmeal and stuff inside of it, but it's like a really long skinny one. And I'm pretty sure the set of four was like 30-ish dollars. It kind of fluctuates on the daily. I also don't know if they're sold out or not because of the home edit. Ever since that show came out on Netflix, all of my favorite organization products have been sold out. If you saw my laundry room video, you know that I picked up a turntable that had like little dividers in it. And that was from Target because M Design, like the Amazon version of it basically, completely sold out wherever I look. So if you're looking for organization bins, best of luck, I hope they are in stock. I'm very happy that I bought these before the whole home design pandemic hit basically. But if you guys are ready to start this refrigerator organization clean with me, declutter, is it decluttering my fridge? It's just throwing out trash. If you wanna watch me clean up my fridge, let's start with the before shots. So once we moved in, I never really settled into like certain shelves or for certain things. We have two drawers. I didn't make one just a fruit drawer and one a vegetable drawer, even though that makes a ton of sense. Um, I also have my brother-in-law in town and he eats a lot. So we have a lot more food than we generally keep in this fridge. And like, why is there a lime right here? Why is there half of an avocado here? Why is there like three loaves of bread on the bottom and half of a rotisserie chicken and more bread back there? Like there's just no rhyme or reason to this space. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is take everything out. I might do half and half. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start off with taking out the first couple of shelves take everything out of it and rest it over here That way I can get into this space and scrub it clean and then put things back and then do the other half because I don't want to leave everything out in the open for so long. I also think that I can rearrange these bins a little bit or space them out or maybe I don't know about this bin right here. Actually, I probably can't with these two bottom ones. Dang it. I was gonna move that bin up higher. Plans are foiled. I'm gonna rework these a little bit. I think there could be better organization in here of like condiments on one, salad dressings on another, milk on the bottom or however it works out. So I think step one of this plan, wipe down all of the plastic bins we're gonna use to organize. Step two is section by section and clean out the shelves. And then while I'm cleaning them out, throw out food that I don't need anymore that has gone bad or that we can't eat. It'll also be a good reminder of what food we need to eat before it goes bad. So enough rambling, let's start this clean with me.
see how we're already at the point where there's dog hair inside of the fridge. Also changing plants a little bit. I'm gonna just finish taking everything out and wiping it down because that is my least favorite part and I'll be very happy when it's all over. So I'm gonna quit talking, quit letting cold air escape and just finish it very fast. I stay here I took some shortcuts by not taking out the bottom drawers to clean them out, but that is honestly the bane of my existence. And I'm gonna address this side after I finish the fridge. I think most of this stuff will stay on the wall, so I'm gonna just leave that there, or the door. What am I saying? Now, out on the counter is everything that was in the fridge. You can see empty guacamole cups, Greek yogurt container with just cream cheese inside of it. These are easy recycles. Um, really wilted celery that bends in half. That's gonna be a waste where the old asparagus also going to go. Trash and trash, limes, half of an avocado and an onion. I'm gonna put this over here with the produce. Uh, this pepper, not, not bueno. Eggs are gonna stay. Chicken, ooh, that is way too juicy. Normally, if you start seeing slime or juice off the chicken like this, it has been too long, which is a shame. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you guys didn't come at me for like wasting this much food. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has forgotten about things stuffed in the back of their fridge and it's no longer good. So please keep those comments to yourself if you have those comments. Back to going through the rest of the food. Okay, we have butter, blueberries go with produce. Mashed potatoes, these are both mashed potatoes, so I wanna condense these containers, put that over there. This is really old soup, so that's gonna be emptied out and cleaned out. Really old. Fish emptied out, cleaned out. Okay. This is all good to go. Over here, I'm gonna leave this. Orange is produce. Ugh, that is mush and mold. Yep. Going in the trash. You get the picture. I'm gonna go through the rest of this, pull out whatever's rotten, put empty containers, or containers that need to be cleaned out over in the sink to handle later, and then we will move on to organizing. Okay, I have roughly organized this on the counter. So we have meats, the cheese drawer, fruits are back here, vegetables here. I have spreads. I haven't figured out where that's going to go. I have a bunch of bread and we keep it in the fridge because honestly we don't go through enough bread quick enough before it spoils. So we find that it stays better longer if we keep it in the fridge. That might be a good way to use this actually is put all the bread in the bin. Over here, random stuff. This needs to go in the trash. And because I'm in a rush, I don't want to go out to our garage where the recycling is, so I just threw all of our recycling stuff on the ground for now. I will clean that all once we're not racing the clock on getting groceries back into the fridge. Let's start putting things in there, especially like the meats and the cheeses. I want to get those in the fridge ASAP. Believe me, I never got invited to any parties. I just sit out from the in crowd and stay within my boundaries. I'd hang on my friends and it was great. We'd go out but not that late. And I really love and never want to change. But sometimes I can't help but think, am I missing out on something I don't have? Cause I don't want to give up being good to be bad. Trying to complain, I'm just a little curious Cause I see 
the picture, see the post Reckless me, not even close Cause why would I be something that I'm not? I should be happy with the friends I've got But these thoughts still come to mind And I can't help but wonder sometimes Okay, you can see I definitely struggled with how I wanted the um, shelves organized I think it's actually how it originally was organized in the first place but it's kind of a shame. This cheese drawer, it, the way that it hangs down just kind of covers up what's in this drawer. Like, like this is how I like see into the fridge basically. And you can't really see everything down there. But since this is going to be where I keep like meats and raw meats, I'm going to like know what I have out there and not have too much fresh meat out there. I normally will freeze a lot of the meats that I have. Like we have some steaks, we've got burger patties, chicken there. Most meats stay in the freezer until I'm like cooking it or the day before I cook it. So I hope that's not too big of an issue. Then obviously we have the cheese drawer in here. Another thing I'm trying to figure out is where leftovers will go because I feel like this is not gonna be wide enough space. Actually, that does work. Boom, problem solved. Next to the little bread bin is our, gonna be our leftover zone. I think that's gonna be enough space for leftovers probably. Up here, I was trying to decide if my fruit should go down in the fruit drawer, like the lemons that I have pre-cut and like the blueberry carton, and I'm not sure, maybe. Actually, yes, we're gonna do that. I'm just worried I'm gonna forget about them, but since everything will be in this drawer, I think I'll be in there frequently enough to like notice it, hopefully. And then right here, I'm gonna put my egg container and I'm gonna fill it up really fast. very very pleasantly surprised when we first got this house i didn't think i was gonna love having the fridge all like this all the way down with super narrow shelves i'm just not used to having that i'm used to like really wide long shelves and like stacked freezer and refrigerator but i think after organizing it and like thinking through like different spots like the bread bin goes here eggs go here like having places for things like the leftover zone i actually really really like this but before i get to the after shots i want to reorganize the door a little bit make it make a little bit more sense because right now everything is just squeezed kind of wherever it would fit i don't know if this will be as satisfying as the rest of the fridge though so i'm gonna speed this part up very fast for you guys Okay, I just wrapped up on the door. I cleaned up the floor, took out the trash. You can tell that Bucky helped with the whole process. I also didn't mention it in the last couple videos I filmed, but Bucky is officially cone free. Whoop whoop, party time. He's a little bit tired out. We've been working on our leash walking skills and playing fetch. We're still learning how to do both of those and kind of struggling, but you guys don't care about this. You're here for a refrigerator video. Um, if you wanna see more of Bucky and hear more about him, watch the vlogs because he's gonna be the superstar of a lot of them from now on. But moving back to the fridge. Also, off topic one more time, just give me one second. I didn't go into the freezer because there isn't much happening in here. Like, there's not much to organize, so it's not gonna be that satisfying. We don't normally keep a lot in the freezer, mostly just some frozen fruit and veggies, and then occasional ice cream, and then frozen meat. Nothing like terribly, terribly exciting. We don't do like a stockpile of freezer meals because it's just Christian and I, and normally it's pretty easy to feed us on a whim. Back to what I was trying to say. I am done with all of the work. I cleaned it all up, except for the sink still has some stuff in it. We'll eventually get to that. But I wanna give you the after tour. First, I wanna remind you of what we started with in this refrigerator. Welcome to the new and improved refrigerator, guys. I am so pleased with this. Also, keep in mind that there's a lot of extra things in here that we don't normally have because of Christian's brother. I've already mentioned that, but we have tons and tons of milk. We have lots and lots of eggs, tons of bread. Normally, things will look a little bit differently. I'll actually probably do a grocery haul. Would you guys like to see that? Because we do most of our groceries from Walmart pickup, and I would love to share that with you guys. Let me know down below if you wanna see that. And if you're interested in that, do you wanna see just the grocery haul? Do you wanna see recipes that I'm using it for? Do you wanna see like cook with me? Like what do you guys wanna see from the grocery haul? Cause I feel like I should do a little bit more than just the basic grocery haul. But 
The top shelf is gonna be just beverages. So right now we have milk, iced tea. Christian has some adult beverages back there. It probably won't stay like this. We normally don't have this many drinks in the house. So I don't know what that will become. We will see as that evolves. But right now that's the beverage level. Coming down, we have like eggs and dairy. So we have eggs, we have a Greek yogurt, and then I don't know where else to put my hummus. So that's right there. Down here we have the bread bin, which I love because it keeps all of these like weird giant things in like one little tight space. So that's great. And to reach like the hamburger buns or the taco shells all the way in the back, you just pull it all the way out and you're good to go. This is also leftover zone. As you can see, we're out of leftovers besides just the container of mashed potatoes. Very exciting cheese drawers with some shredded cheese. I have my backup butter in here, cream cheese, and some extra things that came from a big salad pack. Next level will be all of the meats. So I've got a rotisserie chicken in there and then raw bacon and raw ground turkey that I'm gonna be using tonight for dinner and the bacon's obviously breakfast tomorrow. This top drawer has a piece of my hair on it, that's disgusting. And this top drawer is all of our fruit. So I actually used this little bin in here to keep all the things that would roll around over here and then everything else are things that are packaged separately. So we have our blueberries, a cut up lemon. Actually that lemon looks nasty, that probably needs to go. Yeah, hold on. Oh my gosh. Shh. Sorry if you could hear that. Um, but half of an avocado, some lime wedges. So that's gonna be the fruit drawer. And down below are our veggies. So we just have an onion, pepper, carrots, nothing terribly exciting in there. I kinda need to go grocery shopping because it's looking a bit bare in here. And then coming over to the side wall, I really, really like this. This one is completely empty. Down here we have almond milk. That will probably end up up there once all of that extra milk has gone through. I have some chicken broth. And then these are things that aren't salad dressings or like traditional like squeeze condiments. We have pickles, some jam, jalapenos, backup bail that didn't put up there, maple syrup, minced garlic, taco sauce, Parmesan cheese. And then up here are all of the condiments, ranch, ketchup, honey mustard, mayo, mustard, sriracha, and then we have salad dressings back here, and then we have butter. I'm trying to be kind of dairy-free. I'm actually thinking about going back to 75 hard. Completely off topic, but I'm thinking about doing 75 hard again. If you saw the videos when Christian first left to leave for his um, training and I was living in Virginia by myself for a month, I did this like fitness challenge, or at least try to do this fitness challenge. You can Google it yourself, but it's basically like five rules you follow every day. Like you pick one diet and stick to it. It doesn't matter what the diet is, as long as you don't break the rules. No alcohol, um, two workouts a day. One has to be outside, one can be either or. You also have to read 10 pages of a nonfiction book, drink a gallon of water, and one of my rules, I'm blabbergone. One of my rules for 75 hard was no dairy because I think dairy is bad for my skin and I'm kind of lactose intolerant. So I kind of splurge because I love cheese, but I know that it's bad for my body, my gut health and my face. And it really clearly can show. You can see everything that is happening on my face right now, even with makeup on top of it. So I think we're actually gonna be starting up 75 hard. Christian said he might join me starting on November 1st because I secretly have a stash of candy back here ready to be eating while sugar treaters come to the house. I also don't know if trick-or-treaters are coming to the house. I am still rambling. This video is about the refrigerator, not me. But that is it, guys. That is the complete fridge clean out, wipe down. The door is closing, that's probably good. It probably needs to be shut for a while now. But as I was saying, that's gonna be a wrap on the fridge clean up declutter, clean out, organize, put those bins finally to use. I, those bins have just been sitting in the laundry room cabinet for so long that they're just taking up so much space in there and being the opposite of their purpose. Like they're supposed to be functional and organizing and they were just causing clutter and making it more difficult to organize the space that it previously was in. So I'm glad that those now have a home and are gonna be put to good use. And I'm looking at the dirty dishes waiting for me. I probably need to go take care of those, but make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads and I will be seeing you guys next time. Bye!